Hell. Sound check. Sound check. Sound check. Sound check. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Manga Pod. We're oh 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 okay. Mm-hmm. We're a weekly mm-hmm. podcast which we get together <laughs> after we've read all or part of a manga and then we discuss it with friendship, love, and lots and lots of spoilers. I'm Erin, a happily Erin. I'm Dodger. <laughs> I'm Moika. <laughs> <laughs> And, and before we do anything else today, you all need to know that this is Erin's birthday pod. And her birthday, birthday is pod. Not today. It got pushed, but that doesn't mean that we're not going to sing. We're going to do it right now. Are you oh, ready? Oh, oh, okay. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Three, two, one. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. <laughs> Woo! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday dear, 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 Whoa, okay. Damn, all right. Hold on now. Ooh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It just came out. I don't genuinely feel that way, just so you know. That was sarcasm. I, I'm very sorry. Um, love you guys. It's the same. It's too. all it's both four letters. You get them confused sometimes. Love and hate? No. Love and fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, what is happening? <laughs> Welcome to Manga Pod, everybody. Welcome. <laughs> I am your host, and tonight we will ruin this podcast intro and entertain the millions that will be this clip. Uh, More at 9.45 a.m. Central Time. Mm. On to you, Miss uh, Dex Bonus. What what are we doing? On on to me? Oh, dang. Is this my ship now? (laughs) (laughs) On to you, (laughs) Erin. Hot potato. Potato. We this week are discussing for your love chapters one through fifty five. If you guys have never joined us for a manga pub before, what we like to do is give you a short spoiler free description of the manga that we read, aka a summary, and then we will give you our spoiler free recommendations whether we think you should spend time going to read this manga or not. That way, if it sounds like something you are interested in, you can take your leave, go read it, come back and watch the VOD of this on. YouTube.com slash happily Aaron, or you can listen to it on Spotify when it goes up. Um, This is also, we are actually doing a manhwa this week. A webcomic. So, So, Solar Mongoose in chat (laughs) said, for your asterisk, 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 (laughs) asterisk. (laughs) Going with our same Same number of letters. Same number of letters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) <laughs> oh. All right, I'm going to read a description. <clears throat> Through his older brother's experiences, Zhang Yohan already knows how a gay, unrequited love can miserably end. Determined to save his club senior from the same fate, he aims to help him in his quest for love. But being a Cupid isn't as easy as it sounds. Yay. Short and succinct. Very short and sweet. I loved it. Uh, mm-hmm. Let's do spoiler free. That made me dizzy. Spoiler free recommendations. Um, I mean, I can go first. Go for it. It's I, your boy. I, I absolutely love this this comic. Um, I've read it numerous times. I don't know what made me love it. I just love the characters. I love the pacing. I feel like the sweet little innocence dynamic between the two the main couple is just so sweet and i love how it's written and paced and the art at the start is kind of rough but i really like it 
later on the faces are on point i just really love it i told this i told this at the end of the previous manga pod about how i was reading it and then i got caught up and there were about 10 chapters in korean that hadn't been translated (laughs) yet and so i Mm -hmm. used the app which is in all korean and I searched and found a way to put my credit card in so that I could buy oh. the remaining chapters. And I told David, I said, there's this comic that came out and I really want to support it. And he's like, okay, cool. And then I said, so if a bunch of transactions that are in Korean show up <laughs> on the bank statement, that is why. And he just right. like shook his head at me. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> so that's how much I like it. To the point where I'm like, oh, God, I hope other people like it. And I might. I'm, that's my feelings. There you go. I love it. Um, I can go next. Aaron got me to read this manhwa. I want to say, like, time has no meaning anymore. So it's hard no. to remember how long ago it was. Yeah. I want to say it was like, yeah, maybe a year ago. Yeah. Um, And so this was a reread for me. Uh. I enjoyed it a lot both times. Um, the art at first, I was like, I don't know how I feel about this, but it really, it really did grow on me. Um, and I, I think it's, it's sweet. It, it's not that it's like, it definitely has some tropey things in it, not in a bad way, just in like a these are, these are young people who are like dealing with feelings sort of way. Um, and yeah, it's, it's very sweet. So. I enjoy it a lot. I would recommend it. I look, if you like a slow burn, a hundred percent recommend this. I yeah. Aaron also suckered me into reading this like a year. Oh my god, it's so all of us ago. Have to read. <laughs> yes. So this is technically a reread. But yeah, it's a super sweet story. I enjoyed it. So I it's a recommendation for me for sure. Lou. Where are you? I know. We need, we need a, like a palate cleanser in here because this entire thing is just going to be us being like, oh, and then, and then when, and it was an, oh, uh, I and know. You just know Lou would be like, okay, right. But also <laughs> we can't mimic no. Lou. We can't, we can't be we Lou's can. voice. He is can. unique and beautiful. So. He's too unique with it, with his thoughts. Yeah. Whatever. So I'm sorry. Yeah. Buckle up. <laughs> Gonna yeah. have some cuteness. Yeah, it's just gonna be us wooing for this entire fucking hour. So yeah, I I literally went back into my because I DM'd uh, Aaron what like some of my reactions, and I'll just oh, say yeah. uh, I'll quote some of the non spoiler ones. Um, <laughs> Johan, <laughs> Johan, oh my god, poor baby Johan. <laughs> <laughs> That describes the whole manhwa. Yeah. The whole thing. Boy. Even the second part that we didn't read, that literally describes the whole series. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, I love it. Cool. Mm-hmm. So that wraps up our uh, spoiler-free section. Is there anything else you guys want to point out? Anything? I don't think so. Cool. No. So let's jump into spoiler section once again. This is your time to take your leave. If it sounds like something you're interested in reading and come back and watch the VOD of this on YouTube or listen to it on Spotify, iTunes, anywhere you can you listen to your podcasts. So, yeah. Count down. Count down. Five. Four. Oh, three. Oh, oh hold on. Uh, two. Uh-huh. Oh, also, we're on Google Podcasts now. New audio uh, place to listen to our podcast. Okay, continue. (laughs) I'm ready. That dumb, that dumb redhead bitch is gone. I can't remember his name. Yes. (laughs) Lee, Lee, you so. I love him. He's He's so so dense. So stupid. Yes. So stupid. 
so, like he's the subject of so much hate and it's completely undeserved and the mama acknowledges that it's completely undeserved <laughs> like he's just a sweet boy caught in the middle of something and does not understand what's going on and he's just like yeah he's just so innocent but dense and so he just says stuff and has no idea because he's so unaware he's such so, love him he's such a little precious boy there's so many precious boys, except for Yuri. Near, Yuri's not near, precious. Oh, I love Yuri, I though. Love God him, damn though. it. What were you um, going to say? I was just going to say near the end of, I know, we'll we'll do our normal first question, but just really quick, near the end of our reading, when um, Johan was, <laughs> you know, was like, shut up, you suck, and walked away, I was like, <laughs> no, my poor boy. <laughs> He doesn't know. He doesn't know why he sucks. Anyways. <laughs> he had no idea. <laughs> Fucking Johan. But um, Aaron, what uh what were you expecting when you first started to read this manhwa? How did you find it? How did it I, enter your life? Tell I, us everything. <laughs> all the stuff. I went on a hardcore man when I discovered how many VL were boys love in case you didn't know what that stood for um were being created in the manwa space i went mm. on a rabbit hole like the first few i read i was mm -hmm. like oh this is interesting and then it got really bad and so i just kept digesting so like more and more and more <laughs> and this was one that i stumbled upon and just connected and loved it because of just the like characters and Johan, the gruffy, cynical boy with how I'm trying to think of how to describe Moogie. Um, just that dynamic between the two of them. And I think where I finished when I started reading it, the stopping point was when they were at the beach. And so it was when they found right. out that Lee and his girlfriend got together and I was like, no, I need more. Why did I <laughs> stop there? Oh, that's a horrible stopping it point. Was so sad. Mm -hmm. So it was just one of like 10 manhwa I had discovered. And I downloaded like three different apps, all of which I was reading different manhwa off of. And so I don't know why for your love is the one that stuck, but I really enjoy slow burns and character driven stories and that's definitely what this one is so i went into it ex like expecting it to get worse because that happens with a lot of bl manwa too yeah. for where sure it starts out great and then it just dips just all of a sudden mm -hmm. oh, okay that's okay or it starts out really like sweet and then it gets creepy at a certain point this one never ever does that. It's just entirely like, like character based, like em emotion and like working through feelings and like it's very sweet. Which normally, honestly, is not my vibe. I so I can go next really yeah. quick. But like when Aaron told me to read this, I was like, okay, I don't know if if it is just like entirely like potentially miscommunication romance sort of stuff like i don't tend to have a whole lot of patience for that so i don't know i don't know how well i'm going to connect with it but like like aaron was saying the main characters are so like one of them is just really socially awkward and the other one is just an asshole like that's literally them yeah. that's the two main characters <laughs> yeah. and like um and it just they both have from the get-go set in understandable reasons to like, number one, not always know exactly how they're feeling. And number two, not always know exactly how to like say it or work through it. Mm -hmm. And when the characters are being hypocritical about things that they've said in the past, it's like, it's pointed out to them either by themselves or by someone else, um, which I really appreciated, right? Like the, the moments when miscommunications did happen, there was always somebody there normally Yuri there's always somebody yeah. there to be like you literally bitch about people who do the exact thing you're doing right now like yeah. what is going on with you <laughs> like I I appreciated that there was a character there to be that voice mm -hmm. um 
and yeah, you just wind up, you just root for them so much. You just like want them to connect. And I like, I'm glad that we got through the entire first season with this mm -hmm. because it ends in a way where it's like a lot has been like hashed out, right? Like, yes, it's a slow burn, but like the place where we ended is like a lot of things have been said now, which is great. So not knowing what happens past that point, I'm like, I wonder where it goes now. Like, mm -hmm. it's fun. But yeah, I was very pleasantly surprised by it. Yay. Yeah, I I was very surprised by it as well because it had been such a long time at that point since I had read a like boys love series or yaoi series. And so at that time, I was just like, Aaron, I know you got some recommendations. <gasps> and so I was happily surprised. I thought I was going to be like, oh, this is going to be like some super angsty, sad, like, oh, we can't be together. And I was just surprised. It's good. Yay. You're so sweet. I can't handle it. <laughs> I thought I remembered. I guess I got this one confused with another one. I thought I remembered that at a certain point, one of the two main boys was like, fuck it, I'm straight. <laughs> I'm just going to date a girl. And I can't, I I was like waiting for that to happen and then it didn't. <gasps> and I was like, oh, I guess I'm oh. getting this confused with something else. Oh, so man. I was like just sitting there like, oh man, I'm not looking forward to this this trope, right? Because that happens all the time. Yeah. I'm not looking forward mm -hmm. to this trope of like one of them being like, I'm going to, I just, I give up. I'm going to just find a random girl to date and yeah. like move on. And then it like starts a whole new like, miscommunication hurt feelings arc right yeah and i was just waiting around for that to happen and then was like wait i think i'm thinking of a different, <laughs> different oh <thing."> no <laughs> you're just like so, where's the angst where's it yeah coming? maybe like maybe that's why i just felt so fulfilled by the time we were done with the reading that we did because i was like man that horrible thing never happened i'm so glad yeah. There's definitely, I'm trying to remember which one that is because I definitely remember there there's one we one. read on manga pod because I remember us talking about it, but I, I can't remember which one it was. It was but... a... Hmm. I don't remember. Mm -hmm. I don't remember. Anyways. Um, but kind of going off that, something I should have mentioned earlier is that there is... Oh, there are a lot of tropes. When you think of Yaoi, especially, you think of certain tropes. And... Going into this, it's always a, oh boy, I know what I can expect, which is like sexual harassment and miscommunication and not talking. And to have it be a healthy relationship is so refreshing. And I think that's something I really long for <clears throat> in a lot of like comics and stuff. And so having sure. it be something where they do eventually communicate and there's no forcing of each other on another person. Um, and there's no trying to, ex like you were saying the, oh, I'm not actually gay. Like, I'm going to go ahead and date a girl. Um, the idea of I'm straight except for you, um, which I, sexuality is fluid. I think that totally happens. Um, but it's <clears throat> such, a such a trope in manga as a way to ex, like, excuse away any sort of other stuff that goes along with that and i liked that there was a there was oh yeah he's gay and then with johan it's oh he has feelings but he's not immediately being like no no i can't i'm not gay like that's not me or anything i think the only i think the only person like in johan's life which it's not like he's talking about it with everybody, but like, I think the only person in Johan's life who's been like, dude, you might just be gay is Yuri. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And obviously like as a reader, I'm sure you guys felt the same as a, as a reader. My first thought was like, he doesn't have to be just like gay. He could just yeah. be bi, right? Like he doesn't, yeah. you know, it doesn't have to, but like, um, but yeah, I think overall anybody who like, enters into that conversation even dumb redhead right like it never it never feels like there's a an element of i don't know i don't know what i'm trying to say like it's 
uh, when people bring it up as like, oh, do you like him or anything like that? It never feels like it's it has an extra element of like bigotry mm -hmm. associated with yeah. it. It's always just like surprise, like, oh, wait, yeah. are you like, <laughs> do you do you like him? Right. Yeah. So I, I also appreciate that, that I haven't there's never been a moment where. I've gone, oh my God, I hope this doesn't go into a place where it's like drama because people are, are like hateful about it. it that never mm -hmm. happens, which is so nice. Mm -hmm. um, just, oh, go ahead. Oh, no, I was just going to say, I just really liked seeing Johan's transition in this because he's just like such a, he's so cynical. <laughs> Yeah. yeah and then he's just like oh sweet shy boy by the end i know dude he falls apart <laughs> he does. <laughs> he's literally he's... like that hardcore cynic that's always like oh fucking everything fucking sucks which is which makes sense because they're in like they're in high school or whatever and they're like figuring out feelings and it's like it's totally. a very angsty time yeah and then it's just like oh shit never mind everything i've known is wrong holy fuck <laughs> i love this dude or i like him oh fuck oh man he we had like like 10 straight chapters where every single time you saw johan's face it was like, just, right? <laughs> just yeah. worried sadness like all the time <laughs> And I was like, this poor boy needs a vacation, my god. Like, every single time, just... <laughs> He's just so concerned. <laughs> and I like that, because we had the foreshadowing from Yuri in, like, the first or second chapter, where Yuri's like, you don't get it, because Johan kept rejecting people, like, rejecting girls real rudely. Like, he's just like, mm -hmm. I don't like you. Like, why am I going to date you? I don't like you. And was just constantly, like, the cynical kid. And Yuri's like, when you fall in love, it's going to be so different. Like, you're going to feel it. Like, this is how it's going to change. And to have Johan literally become that person where the smallest thing of, like, oh, he texted me back. I'm going to go and try to win that stuffed animal now. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, the like crazy bargaining sort of stuff you do. Even even with like friendships, right? Sometimes you overthink like a, just any person that you would really like to have involved in your life, right? Sometimes you just overthink the way that they behave with you. Like, wait, are they just being mm -hmm. nice? Like, do they actually want to hang out with me? Like all of that sort of stuff. And to see him take it to such an extreme <laughs> is so funny. Just like, oh, this poor dude. It's so... And I Oh, sorry. Oh, that's okay. I was just going to say, I also felt like um, Moogie, like his, his kind of like progression toward realizing also felt very believable mm -hmm. of yeah. like not, not really noticing at all and kind of misunderstanding like I'm being really needy or I'm saying weird things. And so that's why he's acting weird. I thought the, the natural transition into does he like me? Like, am I being, am I being like weird by thinking that maybe he likes me? Is that really arrogant? I felt like that was so well, like the pacing on that was really well done. Like when it clicked for him, it made sense for it to click. Mm -hmm. And I really liked that too, because he is shown to be very smart. Like he is very intelligent. Um, and I feel like it would have been, annoying to have him be dense when it came to that because we already had Lee Juso who was so dense it's like yeah. having Mugi realize and think through what Johan has done and going wait hold on what like having that <laughs> idea but then it leads into the insecurities like you were saying of no I'm gonna be overthinking this like nobody he can't possibly like me. Like, I have these insecurity, all this stuff. Um, I liked that he wasn't dense about it and wasn't aware of Johan's feelings at all. Mm. Yeah. Oh, Mookie. Oh, oh Mookie. <laughs> when, when he cries, it breaks my heart. 
Oh my God. His, yeah. Whenever he cried, I don't know what it is. We had like, I think two scenes, three scenes where he cried in this section. And I was always like, this poor boy, this poor boy is just like so confused. Yeah. Like, he just always thinks that he's the problem problem right yeah. and like i like that he's like he is pretty sundere in a lot of ways um <laughs> and i love that johan is doing all of the stuff when he's fucking going up to lee juso and being like what's your favorite kind of food and he's just like, I like chocolate. And then Johan runs up to Mookie. He's like, he likes chocolate. His favorite color is yellow. <laughs> just that chapter where he's just constantly shouting at Mookie from across the schoolyard, all of this stuff about Lee, like not being subtle at all. And then yeah. he's like, stop doing this. And then goes and buys chocolate for Lee Juso. <laughs> yeah. He's like, yeah, you're, you're welcome. Here you go. And he just gets so, uh-oh. Uh oh, stream down? No, we're back. Okay. Uh oh. 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 Uh and he does. He is genuinely trying him being like going, I am going to be Cupid. Like, I'm going to make this happen for you. It's yeah. just he gets so aggressive. It just shows that he once he sets his mind on something, he's like, all right, I'm in. I'm in. But it's funny because he also acknowledges like that he doesn't think it's going to work. Mm -hmm. Right. Like he acknowledges that he he doesn't think it's going to work. And also Mugi has has said, like, I have no plans to confess. Like, that's mm -hmm. not I don't want to do that. Yeah. So from the very beginning, like Johan's desire to be involved is absolutely fueled by like his experience with his brother. But like the mm -hmm. cynical part of his brain is like, but I don't think this is gonna go anywhere right like i think he's gonna get his heart broken mm -hmm. so there's like kind of a weird like dastardly element to the whole thing um and i love that we then see like the tables flipped mm -hmm. right where he's the one who's in the position where he's like i should just never confess i'm never gonna say anything i'm never i'm not gonna address this i'm not gonna do anything and and again, thank God for Yuri being there yes. and being like, what the fuck? Like, what are you doing? <laughs> You're literally doing exactly what he was doing. <laughs> like, this is so stupid. Yes. Um, yeah. Uh, what? So there's a lot of cutesy little moments that happen. What were some of your guys' favorites that stick out? Or even like re favorite. relationship turns that you were like, ah, if there were any. I did like the whole, the whole, the whole thing with the stuffed animal. Yeah. And that whole, it, all of that is so silly. Like they blew so much money to get this thing and Moogie didn't even know why, like what the context yeah. was for it. <laughs> Like, just that made me laugh. Like, in the end, that toy was so expensive. And later, when uh, when Johan is, like, depressed and sick in bed, he's, like, clutching it to his face. I was like, oh, this is... Thank goodness that thing is getting some use. Because, my God, we both worked so <laughs> hard to like, get it. sat over on the shelf. Be like, ah! Um, one of my favorite moments because i think it's a point where johan is like oh no like suddenly very aware about why he's so aware of moogie and why he's trying to make moogie like happy or why he feels heartbroken when moogie is heartbroken um the moment where they're talking in the stairwell and moogie does the whole little like tap on like his oh cheek my god instead yeah. of like punching him 
And then the way that it's shown, like the paneling and the drawing of it, where Johan just has a slow realization and is touching his cheek and he's just flushed. Like he's so like caught off guard. And I think that's something that when you are in puppy love, like it's suddenly just any little thing that the person you have a crush on does like that. It's like, oh my God, my heart. And so just to have him have that moment of, oh shit, I, what's going on? Why is my heart beating so fast? I just yeah. really adore that. I thought that was a really cute moment that also progressed the story a bit. I also like that we had a little scene with his brother mm-hmm. with him yeah. being like, like, I know that you're gay, right? Like I've, I've known for a long time and that whole thing. And to have it end up with him saying the same sort of like kind of mean spirited things to his brother mm-hmm. his brother being like you you don't know what you're talking about number one and number two like i'm dating somebody like it's not my life isn't doomed as a gay man my life isn't doomed to just like be in situations of constant unrequited love like i'm dating someone you know like mm-hmm. it's it's i'm properly dating somebody and i think i liked how like kind of shocked he was <laughs> like oh <laughs> yeah oh you're dating someone oh okay it's like wait that can happen right <laughs> what about you moika do you have any moments that stood out for you um i really yeah i really liked the arcade one um i also liked when when they like go to the incinerator and then he uh Mugi's just like running away from Johan mm-hmm. and it's just so it's like I don't know I thought it was so cute because it's like hey it's like that puppy like dog love thing where it's just like oh no I think I I, I, I they're like running away from me what do I do like I don't know mm-hmm. and then him going to confront him and then just like him starting to cry was just like oh no <laughs> <laughs> Crying, the feelings. So oh. oh, hard. It's, just, it's so it's just so cute and wholesome. I can't take it. Wholesome, no. yeah, it is very wholesome. And then Yuri is there. To just oh my god, yes, he's uh, such a he's, troll. I love him. I love the fucking him. the teacher every single time he's around Yuri, being like, "Are you smoking again?" I'm like, "How can you die? Ta- what?" <laughs> <laughs> how can you tell <laughs> there's actually um a spinoff with those two that just started really oh <laughs> that just, there's only like three chapters out maybe i haven't i haven't read them yet but yeah his teacher just constantly noticing and then yuri oh. yuri's just such a fucking chaotic troll which is like <laughs> i love i love i love trolls chaotic neutral is always just my thing i love it too i don't like for somebody who is is gonna say that anybody else in this manga is awkward like the way that he jokes with people is super awkward and yeah. I think it's supposed to be. I don't think it's a translation error, right? Like, because the way that the characters react when he says something and they're like, what? That's so weird. And he's like, I'm joking. Yeah. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> like, that's not a joke. What are you talking about? Like, all of the characters have something about them that makes it, like, difficult to create a relationship with them. Yeah. Which I find interesting to like put all of them in a pot and be like, what if this was a story? (laughs) When he goes up to Mugi and starts talking to him about Johan and realizes, oh, he's like, oh, man, Mugi totally has feelings for Johan. And then he they notice that Johan is walking to school. And so Yuri calls out for him and he looks up and seeing Yuri with Mugi freaks Johan the fuck out immediately and yes, Yuri just wait. splits him off <laughs> this wait this yes yeah. don't move I'm gonna kill you who me no me 
what made me laugh so hard. <laughs> no, me. Yuri just knows. No, no it's me. <laughs> Don't worry. That's such a good panel. What did you guys think of the, like, paneling and uh, pacing of how chapters went? Um, it has the, the standard sort of manhwa paneling thing where sometimes a like a page of the manhwa will be like one tiny panel off in the corner. Like it's interesting the more manhwa I read, it's interesting the way that they like sort of um they're able to to create pacing through dead space. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. Um I think it's a very quick read overall. Um, and sometimes mm-hmm. if you if you are thinking about it while you're scrolling, you're like, there is so much space in this manhwa. <laughs> like you spend so much time scrolling through like nothing. <laughs> yeah. Um, which is so odd to me. But I mean, it works. It it gives a very like leisurely feeling to the story, which I think is is on purpose most of the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I think. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, obviously, it's a really, it's a slow burn. So things are paced to be a little slower than what yeah. most people are probably used to, especially in like boys love uh, mm-hmm. series. Um, I, yeah, I I personally like the paneling just because it was so simple. And then mm-hmm. if I, I felt like I needed a break, I could do that mm-hmm. just because like the extra spacing allowed you that. And so it felt Super for me, it was like super easy to breeze through it because I never felt pressured to be like, oh fuck, I need to like, I need to read this whole chapter right now, otherwise I'm gonna like lose my spot essentially. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> uh, let's talk about the rest of the art. I know we kind of touched on it earlier, but do you guys have any more thoughts? There is bad same face syndrome mm-hmm. in this manga. Yeah. Yuri and Mugi, I even like near the end of our reading, sometimes I'm like, and I realize I think I think there was some adjustments made, like they have different eyes and their hair is slightly different. But even then, some like I had to double check. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah, there are there are a couple of characters in here that just look way too similar, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree with that. Especially early on, just because the hair, Yuri yeah. and Mugi, their hair was like so similar that you had to rely on the facial expressions. But then even then, like Mugi was so like done. Both Yuri and Mugi <laughs> were constantly done with Johan's shit. And so they Me had the same like angry <laughs> face. And I think later as the art got a little bit more defined, that helped. But then even like they'd be wearing like similar clothes. So I'm wondering like, let's put Yuri in just a black t-shirt so that we can distinguish him from me. Yeah, let's make Yuri look like he's an edgelord and then that'll help. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Um, Everybody also had very long fingers. Yes. Every, yes. Everybody's got piano hands in this. Very long fingers. Very. Uh, the like it was pretty easy to understand the action and stuff that was going on. Mm-hmm. Uh, there wasn't a whole lot of detail for backgrounds, um, yeah. which mm-hmm. I think someone in Stash that was talking about in the chat. Um, the backgrounds were very like, oh, I found. A picture of a bedroom and I'm going to draw it like what is like (laughs) spacing of it but I mean it was so effective like you still Mm -hmm. it didn't look wonky or anything Mm -hmm. but and like I do appreciate that when the characters like some like a lot of times the characters were there there was a background which sometimes doesn't happen and then there was different perspective with it too like when they're in the schoolyard, like they have perspective from looking down at, oh, looking out of the window down, and there'd be other students in the background and stuff. So there was definitely some time 
dedicated to giving them a setting and placing them. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think just in general, it's like the art worked. And again, like I said before, we got into the spoiler section. Like I wasn't sold on it when I first started the manhwa, but it grew on me. Um, and I think it's fine. It's not incredible, but it works. Mm-hmm. And it definitely feels very manhwa. I don't know how else to put that. Like if mm-hmm. the art, the art style feels more manhwa than manga. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. After we've read like a decent amount of manhwa at this point, like there's definitely, I couldn't tell you what they are, but there's like, there's specific things that read as more of like a Korean comic than a Japanese comic for some reason in the art yeah. style. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, the art was super simple. Um, they the other f- distinct feature in this for sure is the side profiles because when you look at them straight on or they're drawn the straight noses. on, their noses are like super cute. But once they turn to the side, their noses are super triangles. Yep. Look, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm actually I'm I was surprised. It was kind of endearing. How, yeah, I was surprised with how much I by the end of it I was just like, oh, it's cute. Like I don't I don't know. It like sets it apart from other other like boy loves where every where their whole thing is like oh their faces have to be like perfect sculpted from marble yeah like situation yeah right though yeah even looking at lou's picture like like if the nose isn't perfectly side on you there's it looks like a normal like anime nose but literally the second a character turns like this it's like <laughs> so, like, Pinocchio. huge triangle nose it's amazing yeah. but yeah I agree with you I, I actually like I wound up loving them mm-hmm. <laughs> they're just like cute for some reason there's something endearing about the sketchy look too that I feel like mm-hmm. um, the character designs happen like it doesn't look like it was entirely done with pencil or is super messy but they're I feel like there's times where it just looks like a sketch, a professional sketch. I don't know how to describe it. Um, but yeah, I really thought the noses were cute too. Mm. Um, like you can actually kind of see it on the background of the splash. Screen. Yes. Yeah. 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 Johan's nose. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Um. <laughs> Do you guys have anything else you want to touch on or bring up? I don't think so. No. I don't think so either. It's very cute. It's yeah. very cute. Very cool. Ooh, 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 hmm. ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, okay, cool. So let's do final thoughts and ratings. Would either of you like to go go first? It's hard to give this one a number. Yeah. Yeah. We could just um, do how many uwus. Oh gosh. But out of how, like, what's the maximum uwus? Yeah. What is the max? Is it uwus out of is, like, like seven uwus like, out of okay, ten uwus? Then I might as well have okay, just done chat. a seven out of ten. <laughs> chat. How many uwus <laughs> should we do? How many uwus? It, yeah. Is it like uwu out of uwu or uwu out of owo or owo out of uwu or ugu out of owo or ugu oh out of. <laughs> Don't look at I me. Hate like that. I hate it. I hate it. Uwu out of uwu, 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 uwu. Right. Um, yeah. I would give this like a few uwus out of a decent number of uwus. Uh, it's. It's like it's really cute. Um, I don't know how it progresses past this point. I think at the time that I read it, uh, all that was out was up to like a few chapters before where we ended today. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I I think that it's very cute. It's it's very slow and soft and um, and I do really like the characters a lot. I'm curious. I'm curious to know like how it ends in the direction that it goes in because where we ended was like Johan's confessed mm-hmm. right he's like i really like you dude yeah <laughs> right? and like that's that's like basically where we ended so it's like 
well, where does it go from there? I don't know. I have no idea. Um, so yeah, I, I enjoyed it a lot. I would recommend it, but I don't know how it ends. And I don't know if it nose dives. Nose. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say pointy nose dives and then it felt like I was really harping on the noses. At that point. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I guess I'll go next. Um, yeah, it's it's hard to give it a number for I if I had to give it a number uh for this reading, uh I'd say eight out of ten. I really like the characters. I was surprised, even though it was a slow burn with how much I was like I was into it. Um, I think I don't it's so it's so weird because it's like it feels like it's true to life and there's like a certain depth or like rich depth to everything in the series Mm -hmm. but it it maintains like that sense of like reality in a lot of the relationships um like even outside of the two main guys um so i don't know i i really i really enjoyed it i i never like there are obviously it's like set in korea um so like there, there are a few instances where it's like, oh, uh, this is super Korean, and as an American, I like, I, I don't relate to it as much, but it's okay. Um, mm-hmm. Everything else still felt, it, it felt good. It felt nice. It felt comfy, guys. It is comfy. Yay. It's cute and soft. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. I feel the same feels of all of you. I, I mean, I've read this. I don't know how many times I've reread many this times. series. I reread it a lot. I think the story is great and fluffy and healthy, and that's what I love. Character driven, I love all of that in a series. I think the art um, with the same face syndrome might bring it down just a little bit, but I honestly, it's hard for me to think of something I just like dislike about it. Um, so I, I don't know nine. 10 woo-woos out of all the woo-woo, 10 woo-woo-woo-woo-woos. I just love it. It's one of my favorite, it's one of my favorite comics. So I give it all the feelings and all the love. And I'm so happy that you guys liked it too. So yeah, that makes me so happy. Yay. (laughs) Yay. Successful manga birthday pod. Yes, yes. yes. Success. That's always a nice feeling. It is. Mm Mm-hmm. And it's also tradition for me to pick a BL series. <laughs> so that's true. For my birthday that's pod. True. Every single one. Always. Let's see. Okay. I am trying to find. I had it what open. The se- what did I pick this year? <laughs> Week we Hero. In the Week Hero. In oh, the that's meantime, right. In yeah. time. Uh, someone, someone was just like, I would have thought Moika would have been super into BL and Yaoi. And you know what? When I was younger, I was too into it to the point <laughs> where I was just like, bro, listen to me. You need to stop. We cannot continue this way. Beast put the manga down. And so I did. And then last year, I don't, I don't remember what. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Uh, so if anybody knows Nitro Chiral, um, uh, you know that that's like that's their tough. hardcore, like yaoi visual novel series. Okay. Um, uh-huh. So like that was your gateway back in, Is that what you're trying to say? No, I was super <laughs> into their visual novels when I was younger, which is like in hindsight, it's like what was I doing reading those? I should not have been reading those. <laughs> But, I um, think that about a lot of stuff that I was looking at and reading when I was younger. Yeah. Yeah. But um, they they have sorry they have a new visual novel coming out and it's been like a decade at this point since they've released anything. They've right. been writing that dramatical murder cash flow, um, and so I think it was last year they finally announced more news on it, and I was like, "Fuck, I'm I'm getting the craving," and so I went oh. to Aaron, and Aaron fixed me up. I did. I was like, I got you. I'm into it. Listen, I anyone needs Rex, I'm always there. Always there for you all. <laughs> uh, cool. I'm going to go ahead and read. I found the description. So I'm going to go 
and read that and you guys in chat get to guess what it is. Okay. Blanks Blanks loves him very much and his days pass with regularity, school, friends, even the attention of his blank until one terrible summer day that all changes. I am the BL di BL dealer. That is me. The BL dealer. <laughs> dealer. Dealer. No, BL dealer. Get it on the shirt. Yeah. People will be like, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> All right. Um, All right. as a hint, uh, this is not our first time reading it. As another hint, we read it very recently. <laughs> yes. Very, very, very. That's very. the last hint you're getting. Yeah. Like how recent? Really recent. Like super recent. Like so... super recent. Uh, really recent. Really recent. Oh man, I wish we had read it like blank blanks ago, because then it would be so recent. So recent. There is so no Al No Flag left. It's, we are not. Yeah, reading. there we, we read, read it all. Out. No flag. Yeah, no, we're good. So it look, I'll give you a hint. Like, it almost feels like it was last manga pod that we read it. Yeah, it seems that recent. It feels that way. <laughs> It feels mm -hmm. like it was maybe last manga pod, yeah. Yeah. What could that one? Uh, I'll have give you. Been? I'll give you another hint. If you've given up all hope, um, if you go to our manga pod Discord, what server, on the tracks? We get it. Yeah, there we go. Uh, Yay! Easy clap. Easy clap. Easy clap. So we are going to be reading the most wholesome manga in the entire world. We are going to be reading Blood on the Checks. Don't the, misrepresent the it. Somebody's going to be like, I want something wholesome to read. <laughs> oh. Okay, I take it back. If you want wholesome, wholesome, if you want wholesome, no. go read For Your Love. Do not read Blood <laughs> on the Checks. We're going to be reading the rest of what is out, chapters 33 through 82. So we're bringing it back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bring it and back. if you want to, if you want to watch the first one again, it's literally the last manga pod. Mm -hmm. that we did i think um it's uploading this week because i uploaded Sick. spy x family so it'll come up on tuesday or that one will be so bella Whoa, bella cool uh, yes Lou should be here next week yeah he definitely wanted to be here for the rest of blood on the track so mm-hmm mm -hmm. so. yee 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 uh let's go around and shout out our stuff super fast um if you would like more manga pod uh we have a website mangapod.card.co two r's and then we also have twitter and a discord and um instagram as well if you would like to listen to our podcast we are available on all the podcast streaming sites um itunes spotify amazon amazon as well which is very exciting v yeah 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 that google podcast you know <laughs> all of those Hello? i try okay. i tried hitting up just about every podcast site available yes i think that, i think pandora was the only one that i didn't put us on just because I, I, lo I like submitted it and then I got I hit a bump and it was just like okay this UI fucking sucks I forgot Pandora exists yeah when I know when people me use too. Pandora I'm like what <laughs> what's wrong with you not to podcast shame you but, <laughs> but I'm so confused <laughs> you're podcast it's, shaming them. it's like I it's, am it's like the, the boomer streaming site there are lots of places where you can listen to podcasts without there being ads constantly and yeah. they're free apps and just use those. Yeah. Just find us on those. 
<laughs> Listen, no judgy. I'm sorry for calling anyone who uses Pandora Boomer. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. Did you shout out your stuff? No, not yet. Um, I am Erin Happily Erin. YouTube channel where the manga pod stuff is listed as well as very old things from anime reviewing and stuff. If you'd like to check that out, I am currently working on my very first book. I'm getting stuff back from the editor and it's going to be sent off to the printer and all sorts of crazy stuff within the next few months. And I'm so excited. I can't believe yes. it's happening. Um, so you can follow my, oh, I forgot that David uses Pandora. <laughs> oh, shit. What a goddamn boomer. <laughs> I'm older than him. What a boomer. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, babe. I, just, I love you. I promise. Um, I I'm older than him? No, I'm second guessing it. Anyways, keep no, going. No, you are. Pretty sure. Um, yeah, if you want more updates on that, uh, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And also, if you are looking for any BL update recommendations or Thai dramas, I got you for that. You can come chat with me. Come. come. Come chat with me about Thai dramas so that I actually have people mm. to talk to about them because I'm just alone. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's uh, me. Hi, everybody. I'm Dodger. You can find me at Dex Bonus on pretty much everything. I stream almost every day. Um, I'm in a bunch of D&D shows currently, which has been super, super fun. And uh, yeah, I'm a variety streamer. Currently rereading the Artemis Fowl books. Oh, they're so good. <gasps> Very I fun. Was just considering doing that too. Do it. Oh, oh my, god. my god. I haven't read them since middle school. It's wild. I'm like <laughs> another book club. Yes. Let's read them another book club. Down. Let's read them for long but we read this in middle school young adult book club. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we will have two episodes. <laughs> um but yeah. Come hang out. I would love to see you. Moika? Is it my turn? Okay. Hello. My name is Moika. Um, hold up. I'll get a I'll get a whoa, whoa, I'll oh. get a close up. Hello. Oh. 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 Wait, uh, how hello. Clo- I'm Moika. She's here. How close how can close you can go? I get? Yeah. What touch you got? Um, keep, keep going. Keep Keep <laughs> Yeah. This is as this is as yep. Good. Um sorry. I- I'll, I'll get my face on here. There Hello. It is. Yes, it's good. Um, is anybody there? Yes. Okay. Yes. Hello. I'm Moika. I'm a VTuber now. Um, I'm having a lot of fun. If you enjoy stuff like this and me doing dumb stuff, um, check out all my socials and Twitch at Meg Moika. I love you all. Um, I'll 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 go back to <laughs> to mortal I, size. Wait, I like that you just <clears throat> creeped slowly creeped down out of frame, like you were just yeah. Away. I just. Yeah, I thought about it. I'm, I might just do it right now. There you go. You know, it's a bit <laughs> embarrassing, you know. But um, yeah, if you like shenanigans like this, uh, check me out. Thanks. Appreciate it. Mm. <laughs> I love it. If you would like <laughs> to check out our fourth fourth co-host, you can go and check out Lou at Lou Talks Anime on Twitter. Go ahead and send him some love and he should be back next week for our next reading. Cool. Is there anything else that we need to shout out real quick? No. No. My mouth just looks so small when I do that. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Stop. Stop. What is happening? All three of us are doing very different things. So if they're just like watching, they're like, what is this happening? Your favorite guys. Anyway. That's how we get multiple views. You got to go back and see what everybody else is doing now. Yeah. You have to rewind it. All right. We'll see you next week. We are going to be reading Blood on the Tracks, chapters 33 through 82. And we'll see you guys then. Bye. 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 Bye.
<laughs> Hi, we're back briefly because we're back. Sorry, I, I did not Dodge. warn Dodger. Oh, oh, oh! oh. Hi. Hello. Oh my God, they were too chaotic. Turn the stream off. <laughs> Turn the stream off. Yeah. Oh my too God! Much now. Oh, oh stop it! When did you get so big? I know. Look at them. Can you say He's hi? Die. Hi. Kaylee, can you say hi? hi. Who's that? Hi. That you're both so cute. Oh, I'm oh, gonna go die. Back. Elliot's, Elliot's waving to himself on the stream. Aww. Yeah, that's basically what Clark does. Hi. Hi. Okay, do you guys have any words? Cheese. Are you cheesing? Elliot, where are your teeth? You need to do it? No. Cheese. Cheese. <laughs> He's like, I gotta high five myself. Can you say bye? <laughs> He's like, bye. 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 <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. It's hard. There we go.